Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to design and cut a bookmark using Adobe Illustrator and our lazy cutting machine. So let's get started. We will start with Adobe Illustrator by choosing an artboard. A normal bookmark size around 2 by 7 inches. So let's select rectangle tool and create a box of 2 by 7 inches. Click on one of the dots from the corner and make them a little bit round. Now copy and paste this box and make it a little bit short so we can have base area of our bookmark. We're only going to use a very few tools in Adobe Illustrator, so if you're not fully aware with all of them, it doesn't matter. In laser cutting designing, it's very important to understand negative and positive space. Now let's select the Eclipse tool and create a circle for ribbon or a thread. Now bookmark base is ready, we can use this base design to make so many other designs. Today we are going to use a geometric glass pattern to make this bookmark. You can use any free pattern from various free websites or you can also use Canva for the pattern. I really like this pattern so let's use this to make this bookmark. We'll bring the pattern on top of the bookmark base. By looking at the negative middle area in the bookmark, we will use the best placement for this pattern so we can get the maximum visual results. Let's make this pattern a little bit thick by using offset path tool because we don't want to create something very fragile. So let's go to object, then path, then offset path tool and make it a little bit thick. Now let's remove the previous layer. We'll now use the best tool for lazy cutting in Global Studio, the Shape Builder tool. This tool is your very best friend if you want to design lazy cutting products using Adobe Illustrator. To remove the area around bookmark, we will select all of them together and use Alt with Shape Builder tool and drag the mouse to remove the extra area around bookmark. Now there are multiple ways to combine this pattern and bookmark base together. One of them is to do it manually so you don't make any mistakes. Let's start shape builder tool and combine where it's necessary and remove where we need the black area. So there you go, our bookmark is ready. Let's put it aside and see if there is any junk left after combining everything. Let's remove. And now we are ready to cut this file with our laser cutting software.
when laser cutting, I am using Edbun software. And I am using a 3mm material to cut this footmark. And I already have settings, so let's just begin cutting. Please don't mind the mess around my cutting area. I'm using a diode cutting machine, so this is the best I'm working with. So this is the final result of our pattern bookmark which we designed using Adobe Illustrator. You can make it a bit smaller if you think it's a bit large. There's a link in the description to download these files if you want to make it at home. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or you want to show your results. If you want to see more of me, do subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you in the next one.